Today we're going to talk about the chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookies? I'm just crazy about that stuff. I'd like to start out today talking about chocolate chip cookies. Where did I get this chocolate chip cookie recipe from? By a recipe from a low car with Jennifer. We're also going to talk a little bit about my own rye bread recipe and we're going to talk a little bit about pecan pie recipe which started out as a recipe from all day I dream about food. I found it on highfalutin low carbs pecan pie battle. In all honesty what we're here for today is to do a quick review of this delicious little cookie. It's a chocolate chip cookie as previously mentioned it's from low carb with Jennifer. I made one minor modification to the recipe. It's to my own liking. I use bocha sweet as opposed to swerve because I'm not a big fan of that cooling aftertaste of erythritol and erythritol tends to give me stomach cramps which aren't fun either. So not go for without further ado this cookie is delicious just so you know. But the downside of these cookies is they're made of almond flour, which I don't mind. Some people really despise almond flour. But the thing about these cookies is they they tend to be, I don't know how else to put it, fluffy. They're kind of soft and smushy and fluffy. But they are very delicious. They really taste good. If you've never had one of these cookies. I recommend you look the recipe up and try them out yourself. She says that they freeze well and that she thinks they even taste better after they're frozen. I have to agree. I take them out of the freezer and eat them while they're frozen. They're fantastic that way. So if you have an inkling for an inkling, sorry, for some chocolate chip cookies, that's low carb with Jennifer is where you find that. Now I had something else I wanted to talk about briefly and that is I made another loaf of my homemade rye bread and I just wanted to give you a nice close-up look at it nice close-up look at that homemade rye bread with the recipe which I also have on my channel it's got real seeds in it it's fluffy it's delicious and one other thing I think we're going to talk about pecan pie I tried to make this pecan pie. Matter of fact, I did make it. I made it three different times. It was fantastic pecan pie. First two times turned out perfect in every possible way. Now that is from All Day I Dream About Food. It's their recipe for pecan pie. It also uses, uses bocha sweet. The only modification I made to that recipe was instead of the brown swerve in the crust mix, I also used bocha sweet and just a few drips of real molasses which gave it that brown sugar flavor without the cooling effect of the erythritol. And I filmed myself making this. I made a video of the whole thing and then I didn't quite bake it long enough at the end and it was runny in the middle. So I might put some clips of that on here, but I just wanted you to know that that was delicious. Here we are using some of our Aldi bread breadcrumbs. We're cooking up some catfish I caught a few weeks ago. And we're going to throw some shrimp in there later. Makes a great breading as you can see here. Just as good as anything that's not keto. Tonight we're having fried chicken. But you might notice there's no breading on that chicken. That's because there ain't. I got boneless, skinless chicken thighs, sprinkle the seasonings on them, which the dark red is a little saison, and then uh, some Lowry's and garlic and black pepper and so forth, whatever you like on chicken. Put it, let it soak for about an hour, and then you put it right in the grease and fry it with no breading. It's keto, it's paleo, it's delicious. Gotta try it sometime. 